Too many people buy a certain type of semi-truck for the wrong reasons. It's what their family drives. It's what they were trained in. It's what looks cool. But those aren't good reasons to buy a semi-truck. I'm Caroline, your trucking business professor here at the Bobtail Help Desk, and my goal is to help your trucking business thrive. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to our channel. Today, we're going to go through the top six class eight truck manufacturers. Remember that a truck isn't just a vehicle, it's a business asset. So while we can certainly discuss the pros and cons of each brand, and we do have thoughts on the subject, it's more important to get a truck that meets the needs of your business. Most of these manufacturers that we're going to talk about will have a truck that meets your business's needs. Don't buy a Peterbilt just because it's a Peterbilt. Oh God, I really don't want the Peterbilt fans mad at me. But seriously, figure out what it is that your business needs first and then buy a truck to accommodate that. Okay, with that caveat out of the way, let's talk about the top manufacturers of class eight trucks. We are going to go in order of market share, who has the most to the least out of these six. At number one, we have Freightliner. Like it or not, Freightliner is the leading manufacturer of class eight trucks with 37.9% of the total market share as of December, 2022. By the way, a class eight truck has a gross vehicle weight rating of 33,001 pounds or more. It's usually what we mean when we say a semi truck. Freightline offers a full range of heavy duty semi trucks complete with Detroit engines. They're known for being a more budget friendly option that's easy to service anywhere in the US because of the availability of parts and mechanics that know how to work on them. Freightliners don't come with a lot of frills, so if you're looking for comfort, it's probably not the option for you. But they are a great option if you're an owner operator or a small fleet owner that's just trying to get a new truck on the road economically. There's a reason they're the top selling brand. Next is Peterbilt. With 15.3% of the US market, Peterbilt focuses on customizing to specific use cases. Its on-highway Class A offerings include Model 579 and Model 389, both that use Packard engines. Those who love Peterbilts really love their Peterbilts. They are known for prioritizing comfort and style, and they've definitely earned that brand loyalty. But all those nice features do come with a premium price tag. Parts for Peterbilts are also typically harder to come by and more expensive. However, because because they garner such a strong brand loyalty, Peterbilts also tend to retain their value over time more than other brands. At number three, we have Kenworth. Kenworth has about 14.4% of the US market share. Like Peterbilt, Kenworth trucks come with Packard engines, which is no surprise because Packard owns both of those brands. Packard does have a great reputation for reliability, making Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks really great options for OTR drivers. Kenworth trucks are also known for their simplicity in design. Some mechanics and owner operators find them to be easier to work on than other trucks, which can reduce your maintenance costs. However, the cost of maintaining semi trucks is highly debatable, depending on where you get parts and who services them. Generally speaking, Kenworths usually come in a little bit cheaper than Peterbilt, but still usually more expensive than a Freightliner. Of course, when I talk about cost, I'm really talking about the cost of a new truck. If you're an owner operator or a small fleet owner, you're likely buying in the used truck market, and those prices can vary a lot based on how many miles they've run and what condition the truck has been kept in. Okay, coming in at number four, International. International held 12.8% of the US market of semi trucks at the end of 2022. New models feature Cummins engines and and come in anything from medium to heavy duty. Semi tractors include the Lone Star, LT series, and RH series. And these can all be good options depending on what you're planning to haul and where you're going to drive. International is known for reliability and durability, particularly in tougher conditions. They have a pretty extensive network of dealerships and service centers, making parts and maintenance pretty easy to come by. However, international brand semi trucks tend to be on the lower end of fuel efficiency compared to the other brands. They are also not known for prioritizing comfort, so drivers may see these cabs as a little less refined than their competitors. All right, number five is Volvo. Volvo's heavy duty truck division controlled about 10.6% of the US market at the end of 2022. Volvo manufactures their own engines, the D series, but you can also substitute for a Cummins engine in some models. Now, there are a lot of jokes out there on the internet about Volvo semi trucks. Some people think they're just not that good looking, 
but that's hardly a reason not to choose this brand. Sometimes when you hear people talking about this, they're referring to the hood, which is lower profile than other semi-truck brands. Some drivers really like the visibility that this offers, while other drivers feel safer with a bigger hood. Volvos are pretty common among larger fleets, and so they're really widely available on the used truck market. Of course, this also translates to generally having a lower resale value. Finally, at number six, we have Mack. Mack is one of the oldest semi-truck brands dating back to 1900. By the end of 2022, they controlled just 6.7% of the total US market. Mack trucks use Mack engines, although Volvo did acquire the company in 2000, and so some have debated over whether or not the Mack MP engines are really that much different than the Volvo D series. The Class 8 Mack Anthem is known for being pretty easy to service with its modular design and tilt assist hood. Mac Macs are used pretty often in heavy industries like oil and gas because they can withstand some really rough terrain and conditions. However, because they prioritize being able to withstand tougher conditions than your average semi-truck, they don't exactly prioritize comfort. This would be a pretty big downside if you're driving cross country and need to literally live in your truck for multiple days. So there you have it, the top six manufacturers of semi-trucks in the US. It's hard to tell you which one is the absolute best. Peterbilt lovers will tell you it's a Peterbilt. Some people really love their Freightliner. Other people swear on Max. But at the end of the day, if you get behind the wheel of any one of these semi-trucks, you're going to be able to haul freight and keep your business moving. But what makes one semi-truck brand or model better based on your business requirements? That's going to change based on your trucking company and the future you have planned for it. But let's go through a couple of questions to guide your research. One, do you want an older or a newer truck? Another way to phrase this question, how much can you afford? Used trucks have a lower price point, but probably require more maintenance. You may even find that some brokers or shippers prefer working with carriers that have newer equipment. Consider all these angles when deciding on the right price point and age of the next truck to add to your fleet. Two, what are the technical requirements of your routes and freight? If you run freight through mountainous roads, you may need an engine that puts out more torque. If you're more concerned about getting up to speed while hauling heavy loads, you may look for higher horsepower. Know your routes to choose a vehicle that delivers value based on everything from regional weather to load weights. How do the states you operate in regulate vehicle emissions? Some states are more aggressive than others in trying to regulate tailpipe emissions. This can help you make decisions about equipment purchases. What are your strengths as a business owner? An owner operator may have a strong background in truck mechanics. A fleet owner may be great at logistics and sales, but not have a clue what's going on under the hood. That leads to a very different path to purchase. The former may know exactly the model and year that will deliver results, while the latter needs to look for expert advice. I hope you found this video useful in your search for your next semi-truck. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more trucking business knowledge. We did a video a while back about how to buy a semi-truck, so definitely go check that out to see about financing options and other considerations. Remember at Bobtail, we have a hassle-free factoring service for truckers with no long-term contracts and no hidden fees. If you're interested in learning more, visit our website at bobtail.com. We also have a Facebook group you can join, the Bobtail Help Desk, where you can get all your trucking industry questions answered. And I'll see you in the next video.